Hey guys, this is Zach with Next Tech News, and today I thought I'd do a quick video for you guys showing off what I am doing here. Um, obviously, I'm not at my normal studio and everything. I'm actually at my parents' home right now, visiting for Christmas and all that kind of stuff. Um, we're actually about to go on a big ski trip. Um, so there's a couple things that I had to do here. I was still editing, you know, my Mac Pro video, and so I decided to bring this computer so I could finish editing, but this computer doesn't have Wi-Fi, and I'm not close enough to the router here to actually hook up hardlined in. So a cool thing that I did is if you guys have ever seen those USB adapters that get you Wi-Fi and all that, obviously that's an easy way to do it and get Wi-Fi, um, but I already had my phone, and I wanted to figure out if there was a way to use my phone's Wi-Fi, you know, it's connected to the Wi-Fi, and then run it hardwired to my computer so my com computer can get Wi-Fi. And there is a way to do that um, through two different applications, or through one application, but it's two different apps, one on the computer and one on the phone. Um, you download the FoxFi app, and I'll have links to this in the description, and then you download the PDA Net app through FoxFi, and that's what you put on the computer. And between the two, you're then able to take the Wi-Fi off the phone and run it hardlined into the computer so that you can get Wi-Fi on the computer. So I'm gonna show you guys how you do this and everything. And we'll go from there. So on your phone, you need to go to Google Play, type in FoxFi, This is the without root version. Go ahead and install it. Um, obviously mine's already installed, so I'm just gonna hit open. When you open it, after installing it, it's gonna look something like this. When you open it, go ahead and click activate USB mode. When you click that, it's going to immediately offer you PDA Net Light. Um, PDA Net as a download. It'll be a .exe file, so it can install on Windows. And what I recommend to you is since Obviously you have a phone, go ahead and install or download that application on your phone because your computer doesn't have Wi-Fi yet. So what you should do is download it on the phone and since you're plugging in your phone anyways, grab that file from your phone and then install it on the computer. And that um, installation file, you'll have an option between Windows or Mac. Obviously it won't be an EXE file if it's a Mac computer because they use a different file ex um, installer. Um, but when you click that, once it installs on here, basically all you have to do is check that box off, and then you're gonna come to your computer, go to the show hidden icons, click PDA net ready, and when you click that, hit connect internet USB. And when you connect it to the internet, you then have Wi-Fi. And now I am running on Wi-Fi, just to prove it to you guys, let me do a Google search. Google search next tech news. And there you go, my YouTube channel comes up and my website. So that's how you do that. And really wanted just to show you guys that real quick because I thought that was really cool. FoxFi is free for a certain amount of time if you're just using it for little quick hits. Um, but it is a cost if you want it to use it like nonstop for a while, use it as a permanent USB adapter. Um, it's like $7, I think, one time purchase if you want FoxFi full version. Um, and honestly, it's not that bad. Basically, all you're doing is you're spending seven bucks on an app rather than going out and buying a $30 adapter. Um, so either way, you, you gotta spend some money, but I thought this was a really cool way of doing it because honestly, you're always gonna have your phone with you so you can always access Wi-Fi, but you're not always gonna have a USB adapter with you. Just in case you guys were wondering, the phone in this video is the Pixel XL. Um, I am going to have a review up on this phone pretty soon. Um, basically, I figured the best time to review it would be over some traveling. So after this ski trip and everything, I'm going to review the Pixel XL and see how it went through my video or through my trip and everything. Um, but I hope you guys liked this video. I thought it was a really unique trick that you can do with the Pixel XL or really any Android phone. Um, and I hope you guys liked it. So this is Zach with Next Tech News. See ya.